Hello, it's George Lee's making his comeback in <laughs> making videos almost real time uh, and today I'm going to tell you the sad sad story about all the Forbes rich listers who become Forbes rich listers by telling lies about global history and we start with the uh, <laughs> sad sad tale of Ant and Deck who are now the comedians are on rehabilitation because they have sinned heavily. Yeah, they have sinned heavily against the gods uh, and they are actually the cover for one of the bishops in the religious story and in the battles that were fought between Scotland and England. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're going to have trouble keeping the tellies alive. Okay, I'm going to now show you Ant and Deck they are declared to be on Wikipedia the 18th most powerful influential broadcasters on the fucking telly at the moment okay and I want to explain to you why they are on the Forbes rich list okay one the main part of the video uh, is on that family tree there it's absolutely fascinating that is the Eustace de Vestry Lord of Annick Castle and surety of the Magna Carta's tree showing exactly 666 people and there on that tab is John Fitzrichard de Lacey Alice de Lacey nay Fitzrichard that is the current Duchess of Norfolk eh, a Duchess of uh, Duchess of Northumberland who is Lady Jane Percy they are massive mobsters and I'm going to explain why there on that bit you've got Piers Fitzherbert, Sheriff of Yorkshire Keeper of Pickering Castle you've got Reginald Fitzpiers you've got Beatrix Fitzpiers and Piers Morgan is massive part of the story and he is just like Anton Deck let me show you what Anton Deck actually represents in the world of history and it's massive, absolutely deceitful. Uh, and there's the Rosses uh, and the Fitch Pierces of Sheriff Ham's Hampshire, Lucy Fitzpiers, Baroness de Ross. That becomes the Ruse in the Rothschild mansions. The Kangaroos and the Kangaroo Court that is hanging over Jedburgh Crown Court now. Uh, Jedburgh Sheriff Court, rather. Okay, so. Ant and Deck and there is the declaration that Ant and Deck and I'll show you the rest of the pictures later just to capture your attention in 1309 sorry don't want to get copyrighted yeah so Ant and Deck are on rehab and the reason they are is that in 1309 Henry de Percy first Baron Percy purchased Annick Castle from Anthony Beck, Bishop of Durham. And the whole of the world is as trivial as that. There is the bloodline for that person and all through it you've got the features of all the people that are pictured in the photos. Okay? That I thought was not powerful enough and I declare that further down for Eustace de Vesci Vech to be uh, anything to do with Eustace of Boulogne but he is the same man and I've got him pinned now through all of the Rothschild mansions that take in the birthplace for my eldest son it's absolutely fabulous how much fraud goes on in the world and all the same families perpetrate it and the Percy's of Annick are massive they are a massive mafia operation since William the Conqueror came across with this man Eustace de Vesci out of Perse, Percy in the Normandy coast ok let me show you the pictures and then I'll show you why uh, all of it relates to this one family tree so already on there you're seeing the family names for Beatrix of the Netherlands Fitzherbert of the Robertians there's the Warcourt Castle where some of my friends that were in the birthing chamber at the massive castle that was owned by Eustace de Vesky in Hertfordshire 
yeah that is the same person he is the Eustace of Boulogne that used to occupy the Rothschild mansion that was R.E.F. Halton right so I'll show you the pictures first and then I'll show you how all of it ties in to Anton Deck and all the people like Piers Morgan that have become the richest people in the world by telling lies about world history and trivialising it so none of it is true ok <laughs> uh, and I could just to get it out of the way before I start on the pictures show you that this is Ant McPartland he's one of them that's Ant and Deck the other one has a unique name and I thought hey presto with the word piso in it we'll get the bloodline and the ancient Alphonses yeah Alphonse is the name of the Holy Roman Spanish people that committed the massive inquisitions and massacred thousands even of clerics in the Catholic religion that they were supposed to be auditing yeah <laughs> and all of that is in the El Cid movie so there is the bloodline for Alphonsus Donnelly's tree that is the parent of uh, Ant and Dick one of them McPartland is one Donnelly is the other he has no parents so that's the father of Ant or Dick I can't remember which one is which but look it up on Wikipedia and you'll see that Alphonsus Don Donnelly uh, and Annie Donnelly Whelan who are the parents of either Anne or Deck, yeah, they have no parents that can be declared on the internet because all of it is an official secret <laughs> ok so uh, and there is the McPartland tab and he has got no bloodline at all uh, and it is fascinating uh, so show you the pictures and we'll now do that uh, sorry where are the pi oh no I hope I've not lost them have I? oh no Ant and Deck rehabilitation yeah the poor guys are suffering for their lies yeah there they are drinking heavily in those images with splints and stilts or whatever you call those things that allow you to cover from broken bones there they are getting merits from her royal highness who's in the totally corrupted bloodlines and the Perses managed to avoid being declared as members of that bloodline and are now understand much of that and all of it is the massive links to the movies that were made about Guy Innes Kerr's <coughs> castle the bloodline there for Eustace de Vesti uh, reveals that uh, let's show the pictures ok so on we go and they're now on rehabilitation or one of them is and there is the reason that they are uh, they bought the castle or they inherited the, the previous owner of the castle before it became owned by the Vases were Anthony Beck, Bishop of Durham uh, and the Vases are were the owners before the Dukes of Northumberland took it over ok and that is the becomes the windmill blades for all the uh, fascists across the world and that becomes the story about the Cervantes daughters that is Don Quixote's author is Cervantes and all through the bloodlines for uh, <coughs> Prince Bernhard of the Netherlands you've got uh, sorry and the Swedish king that was Johan the third yet they have got Cervantes daughters and Cervantes e sons yeah that is the e for the donkey name and e e for my internet access this is the second time I've made this video today because it failed the first time there is the reason that they are on rehab Anton Beck was the bishop of Durham when Braveheart was contesting the ownership of the world with the English armies and the massive battles that were fought between the Perses and the Scottish uh, Black Douglas ancestry that become the Dukes of Buccleuch, yeah, and Alec Douglas, my friend, Jehovah's Witness, <laughs> yeah, all of them are uh, 
in massive conflicts and that is the battle of Chevy Chase which is the Cheviot Hills and the uh, border where Michael Ancrum lives where the Vestes live and the Vestes are in that bloodline because that is Vesey's bloodline that is Vesey's bloodline that is Vaz in the Gladiator movie and in the Parliament building even today in England in Exminster Westminster and that is false Christmas in all the stories that they have put out about the saints yeah and about the fact that Jesus never lived okay so there is uh, Anton Deck Bishop of Durham he bought he, he was the owner of Annick Castle before the Vases and then the Percy's took it over yeah do you get Eustace Devesky being the Vases and then they become with a twist of the title they become the Dukes of Northumberland and they declare that they were always the Percy's of Normandy okay so uh, it is absolutely massive and all of it is the world's greatest lies to make the world's greatest rich listers yeah that is a joke as you now understand there is the Greystoke. If you look through that bloodline, there are dozens of Greystokes on it. And that is the joke in the movie that they made about people returning from the South Pacific and the jungle, like me, with hairy chests, yet who do not know how to behave themselves in high society. And that is why this man on the Duke of Roxburgh's uh, elite pool table was able to walk up on top of it like a monkey it's the same as the movie about the planet of the apes and the people the monkeys being able to climb up those massive tower blocks in New York that eventually got blown up by the aristocracy the British royals and everything that was used to demonize Islam and take us into the Iraq wars yeah Christopher Lambert yeah he's a Frenchman and the Lamberts are still worship at the parish church in Kelso uh, and their uh, children are fabulously gifted professional rugby players and they play in France and this man cannot speak English uh, and the whole of it is just a parody for the bloodline that is the Percy's of Anik. Yeah, and the owners of the poison garden. Let's get on with it, okay? And there are dozens of grey stalks on that tree. There are 666 family members, and that is the Vesti families, that is the uh, De Beers families, and all of the twists of the letters mean that you've got different members of the Forbes Rich List, and most of them are totally based on historic facts that become. Uh, twisted into characters that now play celebrities and uh, talent show hosts like Piers Morgan so let's explain that there is R.E.F. Halton where my son was born that is Eustace de Vesti's uh, Halton mansion or sorry there's another Eustace uh, that could be the same one or it could be a different one but Eustace uh, sorry on the bloodline for this one you've got uh, a Eustace that lives in Halton uh, and the Halton mansion and that is the Rothschild mansion that used to be Eustace of Boulogne's and that is the exactly the same as the story I've already told you about Eustace of Boulogne being the owner of the museum that was the Tring Museum and has got all oh, the massive jokes and they're explained largely by my quick glance through that 666 bloodline members and in the past I've declared that they are too far away yet up in the northeast to be anything to do with the Eustaces of Boulogne that are on the world owning bloodline yet below the Baldwins of Hollywood <laughs> okay uh, and that is Hollywood and Jerusalem because the Baldwins were the kings of Jerusalem okay 
and they uh, made a fuss when Donald got elected. Okay, so this was a Rothschild mansion. It's right next to Aylesbury where I played my rugby, and everybody that I played my rugby with uh, are now money launderers or defenders of the Rothschild cause. Ivan Dimitrenko has been my favourite rugby player, yet even although I discovered that he's a Scottish country dancer, to have a laugh at the ownership of Scotland and the fact that we can never have our own king. <laughs> and his child was malformed when it was born and none of it surprises me. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, here we go. And there is R.E.F. Halton, where my child was born with the Pritchards and with the other family that was a rugby playing family uh, and the son of them still lives in Tring, plays for Sarazen's Rugby Club now, but he's still my Facebook friend. The other ones have dropped out for reasons that that is the family that was the uh, Pritchards, my best friends. They had fights and they staged fights. They have launched companies and pretended that they've gone bust. Uh, and all of them used to be our best fri friends in life. And the Pritchard's sister uh, is on Queen uh, Princess Anne's boards at UK PLC Limited uh, and she was my Facebook friend right up to the moment that I declared that she was on the board of UK PLC as a h spoke and hub uh, she's just a spoke in the wheel Princess Anne is at the hub running the show like she does in the committee of 300 ok so that was the mansion where my eldest son was born and he will not remember any of that uh, and I don't remember much of it because I was squeamish then and he was upside down and it, they may have been going to use uh, surgery to get him out in a caesarean op uh, and when I heard that I fainted and so I had my baby in the chapel at R.E.F. Halton <laughs> lying on the pews <laughs> and I've got to give all the credit for all of that hard work to my wife and I don't know whether or not she understands this but if she does she must be appalled yeah, best mates of the Pritchards right up to the moment that we visited them for the last time ok uh, and much of it involves the North East region and their visits here are a total giveaway there is Halton Eustace of Beline from the Halton mansion that is R.E.F. Halton. Yeah, and on my last visit to Harriet's Rugby Club, uh, I met uh, Billy Steele, that was an R.E.F. man and a Scottish rugby winger, uh, and he, he I met in the uh, Harriet's Rugby Club, where I lost my teeth. <laughs> yeah, they're still under the grass at Harriet's Rugby Club, uh, and uh, Billy Steele. Uh, and we had several drinks and we had a conversation about the whole of how things have gone uh, and he was an, uh, an, a member of the Air Force uh, RAF Halton he used to come and watch me all the time a very nice man, slow for a winger yeah, but he has got a modicum of integrity and is prepared to talk about real issues he's from Langham, like Ragpsy Nisbet in the borders yeah, and Rabsy Nisbet is not a border, uh, is not a Glaswegian or an Aberdonian. Yeah, so this is the Hertfordshire hub for the other mansions that you'll see later on. Yeah, that are the jokes about those bloodline members for Eustace Devesky. Yeah, that is Eustace of Boulogne on the world owning bloodline with the Queen and all the American presidents and all of them are fucking Charlemagne prize winners because they are all part of the pagan cult so and the irony is the use of that cross yeah, and the deployment of that Cervantes daughter you know all of the stories about the uh, Glam's castle and the servant's daughter being the maid in the household she was not Bo's lion at all. She escaped to Denmark because stammering George VI had an IQ of 70 and he was incapable of siring 
uh, living babies. They died with epileptic symptoms on the gurney and could not get out of the birthing chamber. Okay, so next you've got Arnick Castle. That is where the uh, current incumbent, Algernon Percy, uh, may have murdered his elder brother, Henry Percy, same year as they launched the Poison Garden, same year as the MDMA album was launched by Madonna, and that is what killed Henry Percy, the legitimate owner of the title Duke of Northumberland as the elder brother. And this is the crime scene for Madonna's movies about the Stammering King and all of it is set on the little river that runs under that bridge in that corner there. Yeah? And that is uh, that is Harry Potter's uh, launch pad and that is the rich lister that is J.K. Rowling and there is Vasi in Parliament. Yeah, the Vases were the owners of that castle and it's the same fucking name. Eustache Devesky. Isn't it subtle? They are the owners of the whole world through Barbara Pierce. They are the cousins of the Percy fam the Percy family are the cousins of the Pierces that married George Herbert Poppy Bush with the word Poppy indicating that they are from Rome, which is why their house in Maine is called Vesuvius. Yeah, and it's quite stunning when it all comes running together. And there is what you now get, when, since I started to tell this story, when you search for Vaz, the young child of the Roman Emperor's uh, sister, that's Lucius Vaz in the Gladiator movie, when he declared to the gladiator that he was a vase and his dad was now dead, the gladiator knew the magnitude of that, and that is the vases that precede the Perses are Perseus the poet in Rome. And all of that allows them to cover any allegations that they are on that world owning bloodline. They're all the way through it, yet yeah, as concubines and chattels and anything that you can pick up for free that leads to world ownership. They've got it all now. Okay, so that's when you search for Vaz, Lucius and Gladiator, you get vases to put flowers in. And that is flowers is the meaning of Piso, the Bible author, when you translate it. Yeah, I can't remember what the language is in that case, but I've got a whole page on my website dedicated to exposing all of those jokes. That is the naming of Guy Innes Kerr's estate. That is Guy Jesus Kerr, who has now locked the gates of that estate because he is part of the concubine for Charles II that was Louise de Kerrsdale. Yet yeah, it is absolutely massive. Uh, and that man Guy Innes Kerr is relatively decent. Yeah, He's got throat cancers and he's had them ever since I came back from uh, New Zealand and they started to play all the Valerie songs Stop Making a Fool Out of Me at their three day events and in the end all of them will regret it yeah because the gods catch up with them all okay so you cannot find Vaz as the gladiators uh, the emperor's son-in-law that's Marcus Aurelius and here you've got uh, the uh, Westminster family and that is because Vesky is also Vesti of Argentina Lord Vesti Master of the Horse also lives in the Cheviot Hills just below Michael Ancrum yeah, who is the official secrets committee person and was Secretary of State for Ireland when the Chinook was crashed and all of it they are the folk that proclaim what they're going to do before they do it, uh, and that is all the London terror. Yeah, and there is Hugh Grosvenor, first duke, first master of this ho the horse, and the Duke of Westminster are intertwined with the masters of the horse that are the vesties of Gloucestershire, where Princess Anne runs her three-day master of the horse event. Okay. Uh, Westminster UK richest family Eccleston yeah 
uh, and uh, there is the previous Duke of Westminster and their daughter is Lady Jane Grosvenor that was Guy Innes Kerr's uh, first wife and she is a populist but now she's been dobbed on by me because she is in the syndicate that run the fishery at Dryborough yet yeah, with the Brookses of Bourbon and the ownership of the hotel in Kelso and that is Alistair Brooks who was in Colditz and all of them are the double agents through all of the wars and they go there with their Batmen and their Baldricks and the Baldricks are on the Eustace de Vesti bloodline <laughs> okay and there's the badminton horse trials and there is the Queenie who's refused to lay the wreaths because she's in the same bloodline as uh, Eustace of Boulogne yeah and the Tring mansion in Hertfordshire right next door to the birthing chamber that was R.E.F. Halton and there is the Dacra family and the Greystoke castle owners Greystoke is in Cumbria it's fucking massive and that is the Greystoke joke about the movie that was made in the South Pacific and the ape-like people with hairy chests yet yeah, being hunter-gatherers and primitive and being unable to speak English or behave properly at dinner Mrs. Valerie Jane Lees who would not let me lick my plate even in Hemel Hempstead or in Tring <laughs> yeah the places near R.E.F. Halton and Eustace of Boulogne's residence before Nell Gwynne which is the Snowy Cameron bloodline yeah took over from them and was the concubine in contention with Kersdale yeah Louise de Kersdale that is Guy Innes Kerr's ancient ancestor and is the shag bag for Charles II yeah one Protestant one Catholic and everything has to be divided before it can be conquered Duke of Northumberland <laughs> okay right then uh, and the Dacra family crest has got three royal Dutch shells on it uh, and Beatrix and all the names of all the usual suspects are all over that 666 guilty members of the Percy bloodline <laughs> okay and there is Cheney of Marbury that is the the Bedfordshire home of Dick Cheney and the Cheneys before they left they were also in Aberdeenshire eh, and that involves a series of murders involving the common family who I'm very fond of and they were murdered by the De Bruce lineage that comes up in a few seconds <laughs> Dick Cheney made money off the uh, Iraq war okay Dick Cheney made money with the royal uh, symbol above him because yeah, they still own the whole of America and that's the Iraq war that was launched by Tony Blair and George Herbert Poppy Bush of P Vesuvius yeah that's Poppia who was the wife of the murdered Nero who was murdered by Piso from the back room in Rome and that is the naming of the global polis ever since in every country across the world they become the marshals that is the masters of the horse and that is the vesties of the Vesky bloodline interesting what <laughs> okay and that's the launch by Theresa May of the internment of prisoners in Guantanamo and the electrocution of their testicles in that place which is was invented by David Cameron's ancestors and they are from Canada and that is the massive uh, that is the massive university that is uh, uh, McGill <laughs> yeah it's absolutely huge all the families are intertwined okay so that's Dick Cheney of Bedford right next to Rothschild Hertfordshire and right next to Eustace Devesky and Boulogne and Tring <laughs> so uh, next is the Tring Mansion and the Rue families are all over the bloodline too which is why yesterday 
When I discovered kangaroos outside Tring, I could not understand it, but now I do. Yeah, this is the Tring mansion, and there is kangaroos and zebras in Tring. That is Baron Rothschild II, and that is four Jesuses towing his court, his uh, his money lending, yet yeah, profiteering war coach. That's the chariot of fire for the gods. Uh, and that's what killed Longshanks in the end. Yeah, because that's the sun god Saul got him, and I'll explain that later. Tring Park Mansion. <coughs> South Front. Okay, we live there. Yeah, right next to my favourite people. And those are the Pritchards at that time. <laughs> yeah, and all of a sudden they've all become aliens to me. Yeah, and the last time I was there and I visited with my wife, my wife had to be helped into the car, absolutely legless. Yeah, and the next time we were with them, they were in Northumberland, right under the castles that are owned by these people. Yeah, and they got legless drunk and they started a fight in the pub. And all of that is a cover for the fact that my wife's family started fighting with their cousins, who were the salters. Yeah, and all of that, one of the funerals was disrupted by that false, we pretend that we hate you because you're homosexuals. And it's really embarrassing to be part of that as an ordinary simple person. But all of them pulled the same tricks when they were trying to divorce me and they pretended that I was a risk to their safety and which is why I was not allowed to know where my children were. Right next to Finland, the copper that sectioned me. <laughs> right. And uh, do you get Jesus in the Bible is the zebra for the uh, Investec company. Let me show you again. So the zebra is the symbol for Investec. Bradley Freed is the boss at Investec. Bradley Freed is on David Cameron's court of the Bank of England. And although Cameron has been shamed into resignation, uh, Bradley Freed is still there. And when I met Billy Steele of Halton Mansion and the Air Force at Heriot's Rugby Club where my teeth are, yeah, the zebra for Investec is the icon for that massively corrupted co uh, company and the cost of a pint of lager was five quid <laughs> okay and Billy Steele is still quite an interesting and honest man next yeah so do you get the ruse of Tring yeah <laughs> and Boulogne and Northumberland and Anik and Percy in the Calvados region of France and when I lived in France I loved to drink a Calvados because uh, that is the throat burning uh, drink that is the uh, I forget what they call it but its nickname is the it burns a hole in your throat guy in scare you could use it in therapy if you still are deviant enough to continue locking the people of Scotland out of the land that should belong to all of them. All people are evil in God, in, are equal in God's eyes. Evil is much more applicable now because these are the survivors of the great conflicts that they engineered. And the Black Douglases actually beat, it, beat Percy at the Battle of Otterburn, which is Chevy Chase. <laughs> And there is the De Vere bloodline that becomes this. Yeah? De Vesky, De Vere, De Beers, all of them on the same bloodline. That is Jackie O's third husband, Templesman. Yeah? And that is all the drug runners that worked with Winston Churchill, Onassis, and uh, Prince Philip. That's the triumvirate of drug runners that got Greg Halleck killed. Anyway, let's move on. There is De Bruce de Umfreville. Umfreville. It should be Umfreville. And there's nothing that comes up there that is meaningful. So you go here. And that is Robert De Bruce. He is De Bruce from 
the French jurisdiction came with William the Conqueror's armies that is for a laugh against the gods Guillaume and that is Gilliam that launched the Cervantes model so that we can demonize the giants in the heavens we no longer proclaim them to be gods and we replace them entirely with Jesus which is why yeah, Saul got the people that were the Plantagenets and King Edward I he died on the Solway Firth as you'll see in a minute ok there's Humphreys of the BBC yeah, one generation after Sally Magnus and Dad presented the quid quiz programme he is the Umfravilles of Reedsdale where the Mosleys and the Mitford sisters intermarried and I used to go fishing with my eldest son who was born at the RAF Halton uh, Rothschild Mansion formerly owned by Eustace of Boulogne are you following the story my confused followers yeah it is absolutely massive it is the usual suspects right through world history and that is the reeds in the Godfather movie for the killing of all of the people in the back seats of the cars every scene in every movie is a joke about these bloodlines okay there's Henry de Percy first Baron Percy and he's got fucking oak leaves on his jersey <laughs> yeah and uh, that is the owner of Annick Castle after Vesey and Vesky same thing <laughs> okay and there is Donny on the clock face I don't know why there is Lady Jane Grosvenor the brother of Guy it's uh, the br the wife of Guy in his care that's Guy Insus Jesus care and that is one of the world's richest families her brother died recently and he was the Duke of Westminster uh, and she is now married to Adoni and that in the 39 steps to World War II is the joke about saving the country by climbing onto the cl clock face uh, and that's what you get when you search for it now there she is Lady Jane Grosvenor married to Roxburgh then married Ned yep yeah, the neighing donkey the, the, the donkey she was in the fishing syndicate opposite the borders council yet yeah, with Alistair Brooks and Lord Sanderson Bowden, and that is where the donkey field cost £600 to keep the uh, donkeys that are Jesus in the Pisa Bible yeah and she's a populist but she now regrets joining the KOSB boards that profit from the, the war dead that's King's own Scottish borders and that is Delaney's donkey in World War II and taking us to war in the name of Jesus and all of the families that make those decisions become the monarchs and the stammering king yeah, and the Robertians yeah, which they declare just to let them know it was us Bertie there he is on the clock face that is the 39 steps by John Buchan to World War II and John Buchan became the Governor General in Canada as Beaverbrook transited into here from Canada in New Brunswick as Hitler Rothschild was training in New Brunswick sorry in New Brunswick in Canada New Brunswick for Hitler preaching from the Christian pulpits with the oak on his lapels for the Nazis being prepared to acknowledge that the Holy Roman German uh, serial killers were the reason that there are no pagans left next <laughs> uh, we have oh sorry uh, yeah I think I have shown you Ant and Dec I have ok there's Buchan of Man United and that is Man United in their quest to kill every pagan that war roams this earth and that becomes the Buchans of Tweedsmuir that is the massive castle in Peebles that was an internment camp for Mary Queen of Scots for a while and that's why Catherine Hepburn on these bloodlines that are in the massive treason do you get the Star Wars joke now yeah 
that is Harrison Ford and everything that happens yeah, is a cover for the fact that the Harrises uh, are the uh, master races and that is the Butlins owner with the donkey which is Jesus on every beach and every holiday camp and that is my employers on the River Tweed and the Millers of Annick have not got a mention in this video yet but they are the Millers tale that that is the swastika, it is the Moulin Rouge it is the windmill blades for Cervantes and that is the shagging of the Cervantes daughters so that the bloodlines can stay intact and that is the beheading of all of the queens for reasons I'm just about to show you the, <laughs> the year that Henry Percy died of the overdose they launched the poison garden they launched Lord Stevens of Kirkwelpington as the head of the Met Police and Lady Jane Richards that's Cliff Richards the serial killer and the child menace yeah, the sex criminal like Rolf Harris all of them are just trivial covers and all of them are on the fucking rich list like her Chichio from the centre and on the family tree that is Eustace de Vestes they have uh, an ancestor from uh, uh, the place most quake prone, prone place where her family came from uh, and it is called L'Aquila right next door to the quake free Paganonia can you see why I am God fearing now and why I believe as a pagan in the sun god Saul Natalus Invictus which has been replaced on the 25th of December by Jesus who never lived and that is Santa this that and the other and that is the launch of Christmas Day in the false naming of every saint that never lived <laughs> yeah, which is why Queenie did not lay the wreaths because that is Poppy George Herbert Poppia yeah, and the murdered wife of Nero that was murdered by the Piso backroom boys that is the naming of the global polis and I'm getting repetitive okay there is one of my favorite women if she is indeed the false hairdresser that works in Kelso opposite the cop shop where I've been turned away because of my peaceful protests with dozens and dozens of local people signing my petitions that the Iraq war is a scam to fund the Rothschild family that were the ancestors of Eustace de Boulogne uh, they are the descendants of Eustace of Boulogne so that's J.K. Rowling who now lives in Cramond in the White House and the Rangers team have now relaunched a new Mr. White House to be convicted again of David Murray's crimes David Murray interlocks with uh, 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 the, uh, the massive people that are uh, grade Michael Grade and he interlocks with all my old bosses in Dunedin <laughs> yeah and that is the the uh, David Jones and the Dr Jones of Indiana fame played by Harrison Ford yeah and the Harrison County joke yeah led to those massive floods because Whitney Harris was the inquest chair in Nuremberg yeah lovely women okay next so all of them become rich listers and she is naming all of the people that are in Eustace Levesky's bloodline yet all of them become the Harry Potter cast yeah and she is making a huge mistake because her family have MS yeah and the biggest place and the most prevalent place for MS in the world is the Faroe Isles in the North Atlantic opposite Norway and her family have MS because she is in the bloodline that is the Pharaohs and the Cleopatras of Egypt that is the arsenal in and that is the Gunnersbury home for the Rothschilds and the arsenal bloodlines <laughs> yeah and her mother died of MS and she now funds it for obvious reasons and she can afford to because she's Scotland's richest woman now since Anne Gloag 
Soter of Egypt gave up the title. Yeah, she already, like Guy and his care has done recently, has removed the right to Rome for people to tour around or walk on the paths in the Kinfons estate that she now runs as Scotland's richest woman after before the White House thing had to be relaunched. Yeah, do you get rolling the Easter eggs? Yeah, that is the massive egg rolling joke that is the launch of Mick Jagger of the Jagalonian dynasty and Jesus ever, ever rolling his Easter eggs away. Yeah, and that is the White House joke now and all of it is the naming of that place in Cramond where the world's biggest fascists worship Mussolini and all of the people that are involved in that double agent war. So, how do I get out of there? Uh, oh. There's Nestle Affair and Jean-Paul Gaultier does not get any hits. They're La Tour de Nestle and that is the vague mention that the Nestle Affair was launched and described by this woman. Yeah, she is Princess Il Isabella that is the daughter-in-law of uh, uh, Edward I married to the poof that is Edward II and his boyfriend is called Piers but not Morgan yeah do you think do you, can you guess why they picked one of the Morgan banking empires to become another member of the Forbes lie as you for fraudulate history yeah and you become a Forbes rich lister as a chat show host yeah and a celebrity yeah have I got talent in the dancing sector that entertains Ed Balls and allows him to be on the committee of 300 with the Queen not the one that is depicted here she's a spirited woman but her stories about the Nestle affairs in the French monarchy and the dukedoms yet that is infidelity in marriage and the people that were guilty of that were castrated and they are depicted next. That is Jean-Paul Gaultier. So the two names were Donny, who went up the clock face, and Lady Jane Grosvenor is now married to, and Gaultier were the knights that were shagging the already married princesses and duchesses in France, and that meant that they then were not entitled to become queens, and then they went abroad to become queens, and then when they had their female babies because they're good people, they got their heads lopped off because the evil monarch would not be allowed by God to sire another parent. Yeah, another boy, yeah, and all of Longshanks had about 35 children. Almost all of them died on the gurney except the women. <laughs> right. And there is Piers Morgan on Forbes and all the trivia that now surrounds him. That's the Las Vegas massacre and his capacity as one of the world's historic plants to cover up the poof that was the lover of Princess Isabella's husband and the almost certainly Longshanks sired the children for two generations. Yeah, and he's now a Forbes billionaire, but you cannot find that at the top of that picture for rather obvious reasons I'll go down show you oh Bill Gates I thought there was one earlier no he's a Forbes rich lister take my word for it US gun culture Can you see it absolutely trivia and there is the killing of Norman Kirk in yeah and Mr Spock is on Kevin Bacon's bloodlines and that is massive there they are on the KPS foundations all of them super rich celebrities she's married to David Murray's son <laughs> yeah and you should see David Murray's boardroom and the massive steel empires that they have stolen from the world which is why his legs have been stolen by God <laughs> I thought it was a Forbes one when I looked at that first ok next 
is Longshanks dies on the Sol Wafer. Do you get it? That's the Sun God Sol's Sol Wafer and the Helios that is the Rothschild helicopter and the Chinook that was crashed when Michael Ancrum in the Cheviot Hills next to the Vestes. Yeah, that is the whole of the joke about God's daily motions are just dragging the sun around our earth. Yeah, it's daily motions in a toilet context. Absolutely deserving of every earthquake, every massive rainstorm, every landslide, every volcanic eruption like occurred in Naples in 79 AD when the Pisos released the New Testament. And there is John de Balliol in the Braveheart movie. Yeah, that is the de Balliol region that is uh, that is where Eustace de Vesti, Vesky was killed. There is Sir John de Balliol, a dead ringer for the Duke of uh, uh, the Duke of Westminster. <laughs> Just passed on. That is de Balliol College, Oxford. That was immune from bombing through all of World War Two, like Bedfordshire and Cambridgeshire and Gottingen, which means no God, and uh, Heidelberg. Yet yeah, they are asking for trouble, and that's why he died in the Solway Firth, the victim of Sun God Saul's pathologies. And Sun God Saul has been replaced every 25th of December which is the date of celebration of his winter solstice by Jesus that never lived. Yeah, and he pines for honesty in the movies and his dad gets syphilis wherever he is. I don't think he's on that picture. Yeah, and all of that, not it's not syphilis, he gets uh, lep leprosy. Yeah, and that is prevalent even in the city of Sprouston that is in all these stories because some of the ancestors on that Eustace de Vesti line uh, lived in Sprouston right next to where I live in Kelso all of it church territory and that's why the churches were touched by Henry VIII because they would not pay the rent and you now understand why all of his women uh, became headless except for the one with the floppy tits that he did not fancy so, uh, there is Barnard Castle Mansion, yeah, where my wife went. She dropped me off, and good and fuck knows where she went. All the places on that bloodline tree take you into Scarborough, Jimmy Savile's favourite places, Captain Cook's favourite places. Yet yeah, she visited the Bennets there. She visits, yeah, that's the Bennets that are friends of Hannah Mary Rothschild, Mary Ellen Bennett. She's also on the KOSB board with Lady Jane Grosvenor that's the King's own Scottish borders profiteering yeah and all of them wear the tartan trues and then they go to the Las Vegas military tattoo and celebrate the death of all of the uh, Scottish soldiers that were thousands of miles away and that is the uh, Scottish widows relaunch by Flemings who are actually from Belgium Murchison earthquake, yes, yeah, so when we went to New Zealand, we went to Murchison, and there's this massive canyon, and we had to walk across that chain bridge, and it terrified my son and me for a little bit, yeah, because it's like these Indiana Jones movies, and that is the massive cataract that the gods created by one of the biggest earthquakes in that place. I'll show you what how big it was, and exactly where it is. There is the Murchison earthquake and that is the museum that we've just seen in that place where uh, the treason occurred uh, the B the Balliols lived in those mansions that become the Murchison museum yeah, and there's Murchison and when we went there uh, we were living in a caravan and the scamsters from Edinburgh tried to sell me shares in oil ponzies yeah, and now all of them fear me for my knowledge of exactly why they tried to do that. Okay, uh, and there is where we spent our holiday. And 
right at the top of that province there we had a beautiful holiday on Christmas yeah and my wife gave me the elf comedy about the uh, the uh, Santa Claus and the elves helping him make the presents and that is in the Archbishop of Canterbury story in a minute <laughs> sorry other pictures yeah that's the Archbishop of sorry the Bishop of Durham but this time not Ant and Deck that is the Bishop of Durham that was Justin Welby he's now the Archbishop of Canterbury and I'll show you what happened to Canterbury when I visited it that's Balliol College Oxford yeah immune from bombing and that is the joke that John de Balliol is the appointment by Longshanks the Plantagenets that mean that we can never have a Scottish king and that is the Treaty of Belgium where I nearly died with Miss Schneider in the car crash and we hit a bus I don't know whether it was owned by the suitors at that time but it, I was within one foot of being dead and I went to the hospital that is run by the Douglas Holmes that then host the Kutzbank yeah, and all that was in Berkhamsted too which is where uh, the Eustace de Boulogne has his mansion and the zebra cart was towed for Baron Rothschild II so that he could laugh at Jesus and all the war dead and there is Justin Welby Bishop of Durham before he became Bishop of Canterbury and when I went to the University of Kent for my interview guess what happened Oh, yeah, that's the Elf oil logo for Justin Welby, who was an oil magnet, and that's why my wife gave me the Elf comedy about Santa's little helpers, and now they are making movies with the uh, Braveheart actor, yeah, and all of them. Uh, Farrell is the name of the actor, and I think he was Sunny. Yeah, everything is a joke about the sun god that created our universe and all of those suns all over the universe that allow us all to live and live happily if they were to become decent and moral yeah that's the archbishop of canterbury's company yeah before he became a fucking cleric yeah and that is when i went to kent for my interview uh, just a few weeks later they had a 4-6 earthquake there and there's quite considerable damage in the city that is God's city in England and the Queen is the head of the Church of England with Justin Welby and he is the son of Winston Churchill's private secretary and it cannot get sicker ok, on to the other computer now and let me show you the history of Annick Castle uh, oops sorry ok so there is Anton Deck celebrating <laughs> yeah and there is Annick Castle with Anton Deck there let me zoom in on that a little bit so do you get it that is the massive obfuscation tool that Bishop Anton I forget what his name was now let's find it again <coughs> yeah in 1309 Henry de Percy from Perche in Normandy first baron of Percy purchased Annick Castle from Anthony Beck Bishop of Durham and there are Ant and Deck down below taking the piss out of everything before they have to go on rehab <laughs> yeah same story for all the folk that made the movies about bringing down the Twin Towers yeah that is Sandra Bullock and I posted that on Facebook yeah, and Divine who's no longer my friend was able to post a series of counter images on top of that yeah I will divine him in due course <laughs> okay there is Annick Castle yeah 
and the sinister history and the sinister current affairs that went on right into the killing of Henry Percy and the launch of the MDNA album and my career in the Poison Centre in Dunedin. <laughs> okay, and they cannot beat me because I've got all the fucking facts. Fra the castle had been founded in the late 11th century from Vasi Calvados. Do you get it? The uh, bloodline is Eustace de Vesky and becomes Vesti on the Cheviot Hills that is Chevy Chase and the defeat of uh, the Percys by the Black Douglases at uh, Chevy Chase which is the Battle of Otterburn and that is Otterburen in the Alps as they uh, remind themselves that they are descended from the Bowie tribes like David and that is Bing Crosby and all of the people that were on the uh, Mayflower ship yeah, and all of the fundraisers for all of the wars where the actors get to transit around the place like Marlena Dietrich yeah, and it is absolutely sickening descendant of Ivo Devesky, John Devesky succeeded his father's titles and estates upon his father's death in Gascony in 1253 these included the barony of Annick and the large property in Northumberland and considerable estates in Yorkshire all over the places where my wife visited. <laughs> the family's property has been put in the guardianship of Beck, who sold them to the Percys. <laughs> Not many people know that Michael Caine, the cockneying, and all of the Londoner jokes. Yeah, it is absolutely massive the Jesus being the donkey for Frankie Howard and the whole of the Python team. <laughs> yeah, uh, and the Calvados drink is called the True de Normand because it will make a hole in your throat when you ingest it, guy in his care. <laughs> Next, uh, we have. Okay, I think that's about as much as we need to know. I'll take you through the bloodline this time. When I made the movie earlier, I forgot to go back to the bloodline and to show you some of the ghastly things like the uh, Greystoke families from the Acre which becomes the Acres and the Hundred Acre Land Divisions for all the Aristos. Okay, there is Vasi, Vaz, Rome, Home. <laughs> yeah, Almwick. And there is, that's where the little river is, that is the that is the castle for Henry, for uh, Algernon Percy and Lady Jane Richards, and you get the irony of the Richards being Fitz Richards on the ancient bloodline. <laughs> okay, let's just see if there's anything sensational here. The town dates to about 600 A.D. Okay, down we go. This is the Piso Biblical Code. And there is, in the semi-fictional story of the war, which he wrote, this is Piso, nicknamed Josephus, he gave himself as conqueror of Masada, a fictional name, Flavius Silva. That's the Silvas that are Phil Silvers' his bloodline. Yeah, and the Hancocks know all of that, which is why they have all of Bilko's box set. He knew the details of the Siege of Masada intimately because he was the one who conducted it. He wrote that the defenders who committed suicide total 960 because, as the explanation later of his code system uh, will explain, 600 stood for Christ, 300 stood for Cross, and 60 stood for the name Calpurnius Piso. That is the 60 that uh, the Scottish and British health system is going to use everybody who gets to 60 uh, will be given statins which are horribly toxic drugs and we proved all of that as we proved also uh, in the Australian Australasian units that uh, they solved the thalidomide problem and all of that is the least funded science in the world and that's the statins that I learned about in the poison centre in uh, New Zealand which are totally unfunded 
and all of that led to me looking into the tutin poisons that are in the honey uh, and that is tutin and the obfuscation of Putin and the whole of the news uh, manipulating world is run like that which is why the woman that has got the palsy at the bottom uh, the family that they are in is John Kennedy's family you get the relaunch of Mr White House into the Ranger scam for JK Rowling one of the world's richest women <laughs> okay then he ins so that is the letter 60 the 60 is the American pie and when 50 of the usual suspects were shot down in the great escape team yeah that's the great escape stalag this that and the other and it's the same as Colditz all of them are double agents and they go there with the Batman uh, and the Batman wears a baldric and baldric is on the family uh, line that we're looking at here okay so when they shot the 50 at the back of the truck in the Great Escape movie that means in Piso code none really really funny and that for Catherine Ahern is the nun's uniform and wanting to see the Piso penis which is the fish in the Bible and the loaves and fishes hot dog stories okay next is uh, Ant and Dick and let's just see if there's anything below that starting okay the history of Anik is the history of the castle and its lords starting with not Mike but Gilbert those Tysons are on the American bloodlines for the presidential lines written variously as Tyson, Tisson, de Tisson, one of the William the Conqueror's standard bearers upon whom this northern estate was bestowed. Okay? It was held by the Dvesky family, now spelt Vesey. Yeah, that was published openly in Wikipedia and all of it has just been reproduced. I have not faked any of it up. I don't have the time to do that ok uh, and all of them are on the same family bloodline that takes you into R.E.F. Halton You're run by the Rothschilds way after uh, the uh, the Nell Gwynn families had been shag bags for Charles II and the Catholics become Louise de Kerdale and that is Guy in his care and the locked gates now <laughs> Okay, and all of the ancestry of the people, yeah, and the killing of the commons, yeah, by Robert de Bruce from William the Conqueror's armies, like Jim Telfer of Cramond, the Comte de Telfer in William the Conqueror's armies, yeah, the amateur border rugby coach. Okay, and there's just a series of celebrated things in Anik and there is the biggest joke of the lot the pie pie pine tree for Jesus's birth in uh, Frankfurt yeah that is the place that is uh, Fitzlar near Frankfurt where Thor's oak was used to murder all of the global pagans and it was replaced uh, by St Boniface after he had cut it down with a pie pie pine tree yet yeah, same shape as the Egyptian pharaohs which gets uh, Miss Rowling her MS in the family <laughs> now what next House of Percy ok I think there may be more on there's Potter Gate Tower and Bond Gate all of it in the same set of interlocking jokes for Harry Potter and all of the characters in Rowling's uh, billionaire movies or many of them hosted in fucking Anik Castle local artist Stella Vine donated three of her paintings she is married into the she invo is involved with the uh, cover up of my divorce that involved the family that are the uh, the advertising family and there is Bond Gate Tower right in the middle of Anik yeah 
it's a beautiful little place we could not afford to go into the castle or the poison garden even when I was earning my massive salary as a professor. Berwick upon Tweed, Morpeth, yeah, Newton, Acliffe, and Weatherby. That's Berwick upon Tweed, where massive massacres have been committed by Edward the First, de Longshanks. And there's the beautiful woman that is the artist, is Stella Vine, yeah, and she's the most innocent person in the story. And then you go down for the celebrities in the town, William Henry Percy naval commander and politician Thomas Turner Tate mathematical and scientific educator and writer Jim Hilton painter for Shell Oil and immigrant to Can Canada not sure what a painter for Shell Oil is there's Johnny Kennedy spokesperson and sufferer from the White House like J.K. Rowling and Mr. White House of Rangers and the Scams and sufferer of the skin condition epidermolysis with the word piezo in it like the palsy that Longshanks had in his left eye that meant it was absolutely shut and he that is the case for all of the fascist people in the world it's called a ptosis with the word piezo in it and uh, the sun god Saul got him in the Saul wafer Really looking forward to Christmas. <laughs> this time, Queenie. Wonder if I might help you write the speech. <laughs> right then. So, uh, Scion House. This is the massive. Uh, let's flit to London like the Bruces have done into Essex. Yeah, and the Lennoxes have done into Richmond. Uh, and that it becomes the. Dukes and Duchess of Richmond who have their palaces also in Waterloo and Brussels which launched the Brussels terror when I told the story and exactly one year later we had the London Bridge terror to cover Moses Montefiore and the links to the world's richest people including uh, Celine Dion <laughs> yeah and all the people that run as fake politicians in the false news that followed the uh, point and fire terror companies that became the MP for the murdered policeman and it's all online and they dare not uh, they dare not do anything other than try and scare the people now it's all a massive set and, and let me show you the pads that they have in London <laughs> Okay, Scion House, and that is West aspect of it. It's fucking massive. Wait for it. It is Scion House before the alterations of the 1760s, after the butcher of Cumberland had killed all those people in 1745, and in 1715 when his dad, uh, uh, when uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie's dad was the pretender yeah that's all the Stuarts of Peebles and all the massive jokes about the Stuarts who go to Hollywood and that's James my favourite actor and then they pretend that they're speaking to the god Harvey uh, and that <laughs> yeah on and on and all the Chumley Warner jokes are the same covers and that is how the whole world is run by buffoonery and everyone of the people that got castrated or were poofs are now celebrities and uh, chat show hosts poor Tom Jones and his wife's under the green green grass of home now and they're best mates with Kylie whose breast is in one of the furnaces somewhere view of the house on the river Thames that's Kylie who danced around semi naked made a pyramid of semi-naked people in one of the great cities in Australia uh, and then she dances with the uh, the little knobs on them that are on the Daleks and on the building that is the Bank of International Settlements and then all of it leads to that pathological disaster as all the gods watch them and they do not forget anything that occurs 
view of the house on the River Thames between 1700 and 1750 looking towards Richmond Bridge where the Lennoxes of Richmond live Annie and Bobby who I met at air, in air at the rugby club right next to Donald's course eh, and the home for the Heskesell family that becomes Kennedy out of Ayrshire. Yeah, do you get the obfuscations of John Kennedy and that skin disease? Okay, I want to show you something of the family bloodline this time, but there's Topcliffe in, uh, and all of it is the <coughs> places in Yorkshire that Jimmy Savile became uh, celebrated for, uh, and Topcliffe, and the cliffs in that place uh, fell onto the beach, because that is where Bram Stoker is buried. Uh, and that is all the spook them with stories about vampires when the Rothschilds declare themselves to be Vladimir this that and the other out of Austro-Hungary <laughs> yeah you must not go out if the moon is full and here is Eustace Tavesky killed at Barnard Castle ironically aligned with French armies against John de Belial and Longshanks that's John de Belial who became the next King of Scotland and Longshanks fighting against the Scots with the Frenchies. Yeah, and you can see how many of them are now in charge of the whole of Britain. Top to bottom. Soterland is Sutherland. Yeah, and that is the Vesties are up there. Sadly, Annick Castle, now back in Roman Norman hands, seems unlikely to be the Eustaces of the world owning bloodline above Baldwin. I now have reversed that thought process. This is Eustace of Boulogne and he owned the Tring Mansion and he owned uh, the uh, he owned the uh, Arief Halton that was also a Rothschild residence. And then the Nell Gwynns, the Protestant uh, shagbags, take it over and that is David Cameron's wife, Snowy Cameron, and they also had a malformed child that died at the age of ten, called Ivan, and that's the Ivanhoe joke for uh, Walter Scott. Yeah, all the Freemasons are still bound together, that is the P2 banks, and the killing of all the innocent uh, war dead, so that they can profit from it. Eustace Davesky. <laughs> Let's just scan in case we find something shocking and then I'll take you into the tree and I'll show you how shocking it is. Burger de Stutville, this is the stammering kill, uh, stammering kings and Mammy Billy Bergen. Bergenland is Poland where the death camps are. Eustace de Vesky was an English lord of Annick Castle and a Magna Carta signatory, surety person. Okay? He was with King Richard I of England, Richard the Lionheart, in Palestine in 1199. Uh, he appeared as one of the guarantors of the treaty between King John, yeah, that is Robin Hood's enemy, yeah, in that massive set of movies, and on the bloodline that we've got here, the Sheriff of Nottingham is actually the Sheriff of Cottingham, and they've got the temerity to leave that published on the internet. That John Patterson and Field McConnell yeah, is the know-nothings that you lot are. It's an absolute disgrace that this can go on so long and you're prepared to take your trivial bung so that we can disintegrate and absolutely crucify everything that could be freedom and open democracy with real genuine elections rather than the bloodline ballots that Rupert Murdoch is still allowed to use. <laughs> okay, a tale of John's attempted seduction of his wife and played on him first appears in Walter of Hemingborough. Uh, okay, so that is the, the Templars that are now on the Forbes rich list out of neutral Switzerland. The de Pecciotto families with four members of the Forbes Rich List. The Swiss Templars, it is absolutely massive. That is the people that are in the uh, 
the uh, jokes about uh, the church just outside Edinburgh that is Roslyn Palace uh, Roslyn 